Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can do the ringlet as well as give you some tips. So friends, I take a handful of hair and I spray it lightly with the spray bottle. And the reason I take a handful of hair just makes the process much faster rather than just taking a piece of hair. And then I just make sure her hair is all detangled. And then I use some of this flaxseed gel that I made and I and use now it I'm just, just gonna so grab my fine tooth curl comb and you wanna make sure it's a fine tooth comb and not a wide tooth comb. You can try to use a wide tooth comb, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna gather all that hair together and make that ringlet like the fine tooth comb would. And now I'm just gonna take a section of the hair and you can make that section as thick or as thin as you want that ringlet to be. And now you just wanna make sure that the hair is all detangled. You wanna make sure all the knots are out just because when you are twisting that hair and you are pulling, it's gonna make that pulling much more easier to do. And now you're gonna take that comb and place it in between that hair and you're getting that comb as close to the scalp as you possibly can. And then you're gonna start twisting right away. You're gonna start twist at the top. I do that about four to five times and then I pull. And then sometimes when I feel like there's a knot in it, I just take the comb out and then I'll put it back to the place where I was at. And then I twist and pull again, twist, pull. And then again, twist, pull. Sometimes the comb, it just slips out. So then I just put it back to where um, the comb was and then I just keep twisting and pulling twisting and pulling So I take about this much and then I take the comb and I place it as close to the scalp as I possibly can. And then I'm going to try to try, you gotta try to make, you gotta make sure that you don't get this, this curl. Otherwise it's just going, you're gonna, uh, it's gonna unravel. So maybe take your fingers and put that comb as close to the scalp as possible, making sure that you don't get any, get that curl from underneath. And then you're gonna twist that, that hair. And then I just twist it a few times, like maybe four or five times up at the top here, and then I pull. Okay, so then you're gonna keep twisting and then pulling. And you're gonna keep twisting and pulling as much, uh, for as long as you can, and see how right now I cannot pull it anymore. So what I do is I just take it out, and then I put it back to where I took it out, and I, I, um, do it again. Twist. So twist and pulling, twist and pulling. And if I feel like I can't grab the hair, I will go to the, the finer tooth side and I'll put it in and then just twist and pull. That usually happens like close to the end. And there you go. So let me do that one more time. You can even use this end to make that uh, part. It's probably much easier, I find anyways. And you don't have to make these parts straight because you can't see them, you'll have to, you guys, if you've seen that other tutorial that I did with this hairstyle, you will know that is true. So you wanna make sure that the hair is detangled. You wanna make sure it's all detangled because that will help with the pulling of the, the hair. So I will hold it, take the comb, put it as close to the scalp as possible and then twist it a few times up here, just so that you can get that hair. You gotta make sure, oh my gosh, I just messed up this one back down here. Anyways, I like to, the reason I like to twist it a few times at the top, just so that that top part is, it, it's pretty tight up there, so I'll show you. Cause if I just do it once, it's, you'll see. I did it, I did it once, barely, and it's not really tight. <laughs> See, it's, it wasn't really tight and see how I just, I just touched it and this one kind of unraveled, but let me show you. So I'm gonna put it as close to the scalp as possible, making sure that all the hair is in this comb. 
you want all the hair. You don't want any strands left out. So I'm gonna twist it like about five times here and then pull it. Twist, pull, twist, and then I, you know, I can't twist anymore, so I'm gonna take it out of the comb, go back, twist. I'm gonna actually go on this side. Twist and pull. Twist. I, I think I twist a couple of times, then pull. Twist, a couple of times, pull. And do it all the way to the end. And then put it down. And then see, I touch it. Then unravel. You wanna make sure that you have a strong, sturdy comb, one that will be able to hold in all the hair as you're twisting it. And you wanna make sure that the hair is damp, whether it be with the spray bottle or the gel that you are using. It has to 100% be damp. It cannot be dry when you are making these twists. It will not work out as good as it does when it is damp. You wanna make sure the hair is all nice and detangled before you start that ringlet, just because if it's all tangled up, it's gonna be so hard for you to, to pull that comb. And you wanna make sure that you have that comb close to the scalp as possible before you get that ringlet in there, just because it will help keep that curl in and it won't unravel. So my friends, for all of you who were having trouble creating these ringlets, I hope this video gave you a little bit more clarity. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you're subscribed so you can see a new video from us every Sunday. We love you, friends. Bye.